Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I am fine, teacher. And you? I'm very well. Thank you very much. Okay. Hello, Margarita. Good evening. Good evening. I'm going to home. All right. You're driving. No. <laughs> okay, well, very good. I am going. Just stay connected, okay? Okay. And when you get home, you get to work, okay? Perfect. All right, thank you for informing. Hello, Mayra. I think it looks like darkness in Mayra's camera. <laughs> I think she's driving, right? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, good evening, yes. Mayra. Driving. Yes, I'm driving. Ah, okay, perfect. So when you get, please stay connected, okay? Okay, teacher. All right, thank you. Hi, Darwin. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today? Today is very good. Very good. Oh, nice. It's good to see you. I'm okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm happy, as always. Always. As and always. I had a good weekend. On Saturday, I worked because I work on Saturdays. Uh, and on Sunday, well, I went to church. I spent time with my family, with my son. So I had a good, good evening. Sunday. Yeah, good evening, Miguel. How are you, Miguel? I find the challenge. You? I'm excellent. Thank you for asking. Okay, excellent. I can see Flor is driving. Flor, are you driving? Good evening, teacher. Good yes. Evening. Ah, okay, perfect. Stay connected, please. Cuando llegue a la casa, me paso a la compu. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Okay, so I guess we are going to start uh, with another activity because uh, activity or the first activity we have for today is uh, to present the schedules, right? Do you remember that you on Friday, uh, you worked on some schedules, right? So the first, the first activity for today is to present the schedules, okay? But we are going to postpone it a little bit, okay? La vamos a posponer un poquito. We are going to postpone the activity a little bit. So every, or I mean, at least the majority is present, okay? Because some okay. people are driving. Algunos están manejando. Some people are driving, okay? Okay, good job. Thank All right. Okay. Hello, Nelson. Osmin, Sulma. Hi, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome to the jungle. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. Teacher. Yes. ¿Qué quiere decir? Welcome to the jungle. Siempre Bien. quise preguntarles. Bienvenidos a la jungla. Bienvenidos a la jungla. Ah. It's a, a lion, tiger. Welcome it, to the jungle. Yeah, it's a very jungle. common, it's a very common expression in English in informal situations, right? Welcome to the jungle. It's like okay. it, it has different, it has different it's purposes. A, it's, a, it's a song. It's, it's a, a song. song. It's a song. Yeah, it's right. It's a roses. Yes. It's like welcome to the mess, but this is not a mess, right? I'm just kidding. Welcome okay. to the jungle. Me iba a preguntar cuando tuviera la sesión. Yeah. But now you Thank but now. Okay, I, I went ahead a little bit. Ya me adelanté. I went ahead. I went ahead. No, pero tengo otras consultas. Uh, okay, I perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Nelson is in the jungle, I, I think, right? Nelson is in the jungle already. <laughs> Nelson ya está con el fondo del jungle. The yes. jungle. <laughs> Today okay. I feel blue, Chite. You feel? Blue. Blue, oh my goodness. Why do you feel blue? Yes. Why? Wow. Yesterday, uh, my best friend, yeah. I died. Oh my good, my goodness! Yeah. I'm sorry, Nelson. I'm really sorry, sorry about that. Okay, thank you. 
strengths, fortaleza, strengths. Thank you. Okay, very good. Thank you for telling us. Okay. It's, it's not easy, I know. I, 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 I lost a best friend many years ago. Like when I was 20, I remember I lost a best friend and it's not very easy. Yeah. Yeah, okay, but strength, mucha fortaleza, a lot of strength from above. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay. Okay, so we are going to start then, and well, we have started, right? But we are going to start with the attendance and then with the class, all right? Because we were talking about different things, about weekends, about different things, right? So let me pass the attendance quickly. Si, um, eh, por favor, eh, si algunos, veo que algunos se van conectando, muchos con cámara apagada. Eh, si no van manejando y si ya están ready, en el momento de pasar asistencia, please turn on your cameras, ¿ok? Yeah. Ada. Present. Adriana. Ana Michelle. Michelle is saying present. The chat, Angela. Present teacher. Very good. Darwin. Present teacher. Flor. Present. Very good. Gloria. Here. All right. Joanna. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, God. Gracias a Dios. Thanks, God. You have more time to study. Tienes más tiempo para estudiar. You have more time to study. Gracias a Dios. <laughs> yeah. Lourdes. Margarita. I'm here. Okay, Mayra. Present. Okay, Miguel. Present. Nelson. Present. Um, Ophelia. Here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Osmin. Present, teacher. Very good. Rafael. Pres present. Okay, Rosa. Good evening on time. <laughs> Good evening and welcome, right on time. <laughs> Some more seconds and you don't say present. Yes. <laughs> Sandra? Sandra? <laughs> Not present yet. Jansi? Present. Zulma? Present. Azalia? Present, good evening. Good evening. Ingrid. Ingrid. And Susana. Okay, everybody. So um so I can I have more people connected in this moment. Uh so please um welcome everyone. Welcome to this uh first day of the week. It's Monday, right? And I guess. You are not sleepy today because it's Monday. Okay? So I hope, I hope this. I really hope. Um, uh, I really hope uh, this first day you have all the energy, right, for this uh, for this class. All right. I hope. I hope. I hope you are not Johnny today. Like, <sighs> all right. Yeah, okay, so you know that feelings are transmitted, right? And if you are joining, I will be joining too, okay? I mean, I will do the same because feelings are transmitted, okay? Scientifically talking, okay? Scientificamente hablando, lo, como que los sentimientos se transmiten, okay? Feelings are transmitted, all right? So please, don't be joining so I won't be joining, okay? Please. Okay, so uh, then let's start uh, today's class. And today we have, uh, well, Today, uh, you are going to present some schedules, right? To the class, to show, mostrar, to show some schedules uh, to the class. But we are going to do that in a moment, okay? Because some people have their cameras off yet. Some people are driving. Some people are dressing, all right? So uh, let's wait like 10 minutes, all right? And then we start. So in the meantime, we are going to see, um, I remember in the last class, we studied some vocabulary. 
Do you remember the vocabulary we studied the last class? We studied, for example, we studied uh, the word, um, let me see, work schedule, work schedule. What is work schedule? What is work schedule? Do you remember? Horario. Ah, horario, what? The, the time, the, the, uh -huh. the ah, time that's, of the day. That's right, exactly. What is break? I need a break. What is break? Tiempo. Sorry? Como tiempo libre o receso. No? Receso, a recess. Let's recess. say recess, okay? A recess. A break is a recess, okay? Break is recess. Very good. And we have some other vocabulary. We have shift. What is shift? Turno. Turno, all right, in Spanish, all right? Turno in Spanish, all right? Is the time you work? Uh, during the day, for example, you are you are assigned to work during the day, okay? You can say, for example, I have the morning shift or I have the night shift. Tengo el turno de la noche. I have the night shift or the morning shift, you can say, okay? And we had other vocabulary. For example, we had overtime. What is overtime? I work overtime and I get more money. Overtime. Horas extra, right? Horas extra, overtime. Overtime means horas extra, okay? And I was asking you, okay? Uh, do you work overtime? And some people said, yes, but I don't get more money, all right? So it depends on the company, right? Some people work overtime and they don't receive extra money, but some people work overtime and they receive extra money. I mean, that's that's like different. It depends depending on the company, right? Good. And the last word we started is Colleen. What is Colleen? Do you remember? Colleen Sick. Do you remember? Colleen. Llamada. 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 Ah, llamada para notificar llamada. algo. Okay. I need to call in that I'm not going to work today, for example. Okay. Or I am going to call in sick today. Okay. That means that you are going to call in because you are sick. Okay. So call in. All right. It's like to notify. To call in is like to notify that you are not going to work, to call in to your boss, all right? Good, so this is the vocabulary we studied. And for today, uh, I have some questions here, okay? And the questions I have are the following, okay? So take a look at them, please. Uh, question number one is, how difficult is it to organize staff schedules? Like the schedules you created on Friday, como los horarios que crearon el El viernes. So, is it difficult? How difficult is it? ¿Cuán difícil es? And then you can say, I think it's so easy because, or I think it's not so easy because, it depends on your opinion, okay? Question number two. Are computers a good tool to create effective schedules for employees? What is tool? What is tool? Any idea? Herramienta. Herramienta, herramienta. herramienta. So are computers a good tool to create effective schedules for employees? And then you can say, well, I think they are effective because, and then you explain, right? Because when you use Microsoft Excel, you can, you can make a, a schedule very fast. For example, I'm just giving you ideas, okay? So please. Aquí tenemos la forma de cómo contestar, empezar a contestar la pregunta, ¿ok? Ya las preguntas, the questions. So please take a moment and let's answer the two questions, ¿ok? I give you like seven minutes to answer the questions.
What's the meaning first sentences? What's the meaning of? First sentences. La primera oración. Uh, difficult, organized, staff schedule. Complete. <laughs> Sentence complete. complete. Mm, I don't see it. Eh, ¿Cómo dificulta o cómo está dificultada la organización? No, no, no. I mean, the, 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 the answer is, uh, ¿qué tan difícil? Ok, ¿qué tan difícil es? Ok, o cu ¿cuán difícil es organizar? Ok. Ah, okay. How difficult is it to organize? Uh -huh. ¿Qué tan difícil es organizar los horarios de los empleados? Ok, staff schedules. Ok. Ah. And then you can say, I think it's so easy, right? Or you can say, I think it's not so easy. So it depends on your answer. Okay, this is personal, okay?
Okay, I'm gonna give you two more minutes. Okay, I'm gonna give you two more minutes. Dos minutos más. Two more minutes to answer, please. Okay. Okay, uh, these questions are on page number 27, okay? Activity one, page number 27, activity one. But if you want, make a screenshot of the questions, okay? Pero si quieren, le hacen una captura a la. Si no han escrito las preguntas a la pantalla, you can make a screenshot, okay? If you haven't written the questions yet. <clears throat> okay, time is over. Um, time is over to answer the questions. Uh, so I'm going to, to make it disappear here. So I repeat, yes, the, qu the questions are on page number 27, okay? Uh, pronunciation for the questions. Question number one is, how difficult is it to organize staff schedules, okay? How difficult is it to organize staff schedules? Organize, all right? The pronunciation is organize, organize. How difficult is it to organize staff schedules? Question number two, are computers a good tool to create effective, effective, effective schedules for employees? Employees, employees, all right? So I will repeat the question. Are computers a good tool to create effective schedules for employees? Two questions, right? So is everyone ready? Are you ready? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, all right. Yes. So listen. Uh, I, I am going to give you around three or four minutes, okay? Three or four minutes. So please, in three or four minutes, discuss the questions with other classmates, okay? In groups. So we are going to work in groups to discuss the questions, okay? So please take turns discussing. Toman turnos, okay? You take turns discussing the questions, okay? All right, let's go to practice then in groups. Okay, let's go to working groups.
Exacto. Todo. Eh, dijo el teacher, la primera nosotros la hicimos y la segunda la vamos a hacer en grupo. Mm. Pues lo mismo, no sé si, si me equivoqué. Voy a compartirla. Ahí está, Ajá. teacher. No, no, only discuss the questions, ¿ok? Only discuss the questions, that's it. The two questions. Discuss the two questions, ¿ok? Yeah, dos. Okay. Yeah. Share your answer. Just share your answer for the two questions. Maybe uh, Osmi can ask Ophelia, Ophelia can ask Nelson, and, no, and Nelson can ask um, Osmi, ¿ok? Our teacher. <laughs> no, soy the Ophelia, teacher. teacher. Soy Azalia. Sorry? Soy Azalia. I'm sorry. <laughs> Azalia, I said. Yes. Okay. Hermin, give me a question. Okay. Yeah. Ay, no, no, yo no las he ah, okay. In the page no number uh, 27, Azalia. All right. No, es que no las he contestado. Ah. Ya, ya, ya. Le puedo preguntar si gusta. Right. Uh, how uh -huh. difficult. How yo le voy a preguntar. How then, yes. yes. Yo porque yo no las he contestado. Exactly. Give me yeah. a question, me. How difficult is it is to organize the staff schedule? Okay. Uh, for me, I think it's not easy because uh, there are more things uh, that organizer fears that have to schedule. For example, uh, each job position uh, must be taken uh, into account for me. Is that a deferred question? Okay. Yeah. Number two. Give me. Um, are computers a good tool to create, create effective schedules for employees? Mm, well, I think they are effective because have more tool, more tool that help to create them. Yeah. Mm. Only that. Uh, okay. The four or uh, the three or four, I know answer in my my work. Mm -hmm. Question asked me the one or two. Asalia, you? Um, you can ask Nelson. You can ask Osmin, okay? Ah, okay. And then Osmin can ask Asalia. Yeah. Can ask Asalia when she feels right. okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Osmin. Yeah. Host difficult. Is to organize, organize staff schedule. Organize. Organize. O organize. Organize. Okay. Uh, I, I, in my case, it is uh, a bit difficult for me. Yes. Yeah. How difficult it is to organize the staff schedule? I think that it's not easy because sometimes people can be complaining about the, the schedule and that you choose uh, the time and maybe they are in agree. <laughs> I think so. Okay. Are computers a good tool to create effective schedule for employees? Yes, I think that they are effective because it's more easy to prepare the schedule and search some information. Search or share or share? Search. Search. Just okay. search something. When somebody asks you, can you look at, I don't know what, and you only without uh, working and it's fun. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. This is, this is a, a, a question at, at all. Uh, what, what tools are you use? 
for this propose? I use Excel. 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 Okay. Yes, at, at work, my boss use Excel for mm -hmm. to do in the, the schedule for the technicians. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yes, somebody use a project? No. What about the project? Project oh. is, is, is to create GANs. Okay. It's a uh, to when you have a planet, a plan, a planning a uh, project, travel. yes, a project, mm -hmm. uh, you use a project, project. This is the tool is, is effective to create planning. Yes, I, mm -hmm. I am using, I, use, I am using project uh, only university. Ah, okay. I am using. I am studying. <laughs> ah, excellent, excellent. I use I use product all time. Uh, I create mm -hmm. the, the project with the with the every every year. Uh, all projects uh, in this project is the is definitely uh, the times and the times of vacation and, and others. Mm -hmm. Wow, uh, okay. it's easy to it's, use. More, more or less, a uh, uh, project is 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 to is to power or no, is to benefit to share the time with other other uh, co-workers. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the other uh, the other tool when I use is a. Uh, Outlook. In Outlook, I agenda my my meetings. Okay. Uh, when other when other people can. Así sería. Okay. We see. Es correcto, teacher. Decir estamos viendo. Sorry. Estamos viendo. We see. Estamos, you want to say that in English or? Yes, yes, yes. Si digo que estamos viendo en inglés, we see. It depends on the context. Tell me the context. What? Uh, estamos viendo que ella tiene problemas en su internet, eh, Susanita. Ah. Y entonces uh -huh, coincidimos y le digo, estamos viendo que tiene problemas. We can see. We can see. We can, we see. can see. Podemos ver. Uh -huh, we can see. Ah, we can see. Okay, thank you. Aprovechando que está aquí. I try to change my machine. La programación de la sesión uno a uno y voy después de Gladys, pero no, pero en la fecha dice que es 26. Let me check. Okay. Continue working. Let me check. Okay. Ángela. Hello. How difficult it is to organize a staff schedule? I think it's very easy because it's only a matter of accommodating, accommodating them according to the areas. Our computer is a good tool to create effective schedule for employees. Yes, definitely. Yes, because it's making work easier. Tomorrow. It's tomorrow, Yancy. Yeah. For you. Yancy? Ah, tomorrow. Okay. Today, today is Sandra's uh, turn, and tomorrow is your turn, okay? Okay. okay. Gracias. Thank you. Uh, Susana? Okay. Okay. Y es lo que le mencionaba de, de este sistema de, de ágil, ahí está registrado todo, horarios, ingresos por persona, o sea, es un sistema que ahí, eso lo digita su código y está completo, completo. Está bien. Yo finish. 
Finish, yeah. teacher. Okay, Finish, perfect. Teacher. Okay, thank you. Estamos en el chismecito ahorita. <laughs> Teacher, ya vamos a presentar el horario. Yes. After this activity. After this activity. Yes, your work is very easy in my company. Oh, nice. <laughs> so it's an easy schedule. Okay. I go work all day. Ah. <laughs> Okay, everyone, uh, thank you very much for uh, discussing the questions, okay? I am not going to ask you because I know you discuss the questions, okay? And you discuss with your groups, you share your answers, okay? So I'm not going to ask you here, okay? So I am sure you practice, okay? So thank you very much for, for practicing the questions, okay? Now, um, we are going to see uh, your your schedules, okay? On Friday, you created some work schedules, okay? We are going to follow the following dynamic, okay? Listen, uh, you are not going to talk, don't worry. For this activity, you are not going to speak, okay? I am going to give you like two minutes, all right? To show your schedule to the class, okay? That's it, yes? I am going to give you like two minutes and you show your schedule to the class. And everybody is going to check the information in the schedule, okay? Yeah, yeah. So it's like reading. It's kind of like reading, checking information, okay? And if you have any questions about the schedules, you can ask the group. Si tienen preguntas acerca del horario, le pueden, le pueden preguntar al equipo, okay? You can ask the team, all right? About vocabulary, maybe, or about the, the times, about something, doubts you have, all right? So we are going to start, okay? Uh, so let's check um, Osmin's schedule. Who has Osmin's schedule? We have Osmin, Miguel, and Adrian. I think Miguel has the schedule, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, can you check the schedule yes, so everybody checks? Yes. So everybody, please, let's check the schedule for one or two minutes, okay? Uh, let me share my screen. You see my screen? Yes, we can see it. Okay. Yes. Uh, so everyone, please check the information on the schedule. What is the schedule for, sorry? For what company? Or it's? Uh, uh, and uh, three, three person. Three oh, person yeah. in, different, in uh -huh. different companies. Oh, okay, good, okay, good. Mm -hmm. Es como la del libro. Yeah. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice oprimido, teacher? Sorry? ¿Cómo se dice oprimido? Tell me the sentence. Tell me an example. Eh, don Osmin es el más oprimido. De él. Ah, oppressed. You can say oppressed. Oppressed. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Until Saturday. Yeah, I can see that. So Adriana and Miel have days off and Thomas Bean doesn't have a day off, okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I just have some suggestions, okay? Um, mm -hmm. In this case, uh, on the, on, for Osmin, it's charge of, okay? In charge of security, okay? Yeah. Okay. In charge, in charge of security. Uh -huh. You change that, that later, it's okay, don't worry. Okay, okay. And on the second, and on the schedule, you don't say 8 a.m. at 5 p.m. You can say 2, all right? You have to say 2. 8 a.m. to mm. 5 p.m., okay? T-O, all right? 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., okay? It's, For everything. Okay. Day off, it's okay. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Thank you very much. So, everybody, do you have any questions for them? Alguna pregunta para ellos? Any questions for them? No? Mm -hmm. ¿Quién va a preguntar? No questions. No, no. no questions. Okay. For okay, me, thank no. you. okay, thank you, Miguel. Thank you very much for okay. uh, sharing your uh, your schedule. Okay, we appreciate your hard work. So thank you. All right. Yes.
Okay, everyone. Uh, now we are going to see the next uh, the next schedule. But before, let's give uh, Miguel's group a wow. All right, let's give Miguel's group a wow. Okay, let's give Miguel group a wow. All right, let's see. Thank you. Desde aquí, desde aquí los controlo. Los que no dan wows lo, es porque están distraídos. You're distracted. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Miguel. Okay, um, now let's listen, let's look at the next um, work schedule. Rosa, Rosa, Ingrid, and Sandra, who is showing the schedule? Rosa. Me. Okay. Let's look at Rosa's group schedule. Like for one or two minutes, okay? And if you have any questions, ask, okay? Okay, let's check. Teacher, vamos a ir diciendo cada. No, no. Que lo que... No, no. We are going. To... No, no. You don't have to present. I mean, everybody has to check the information only, okay? Don't worry. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, everybody's checking. Don't worry. You don't have to present the information. So Rosa is a person with more activities, right? Well, with, with varied activities, with varied activities, with different activities. That... Yeah, check inventory, check inventory, file documents. What is file documents? Rosa, what is file documents or, or Rosa's group? What is file documents? What is that? Archivo de documentos. Archivo o archivar? Archivar documentos. Ah, Archivo. okay. Archivar. archivar documentos. File documents is archivar documentos. Okay, thank you very yes. much. Okay, everyone. Yeah. Ingrid, is the, is the, Ingrid is the, the most stressed person. <laughs> From 9 to 3 p.m., right? Yes, yes. I can see that. She's the manager, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's from, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Yes, yes. From 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday. Yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, okay, Rosa, thank you very much. Uh, so do you have any questions for Rosa's schedule? No? Only the day no. of the day off. Only? The day of the day off. Rosa have two days off, okay? Mm. Saturday and Sunday. Only Interesting. One. I bet Rosa um, is a manager. Sandra, day off? <laughs> I bet mm -hmm. Rosa, I bet... Uh, Rosa is the manager, I think, right? Because she has that privilege. The boss. <laughs> the boss. <laughs> the top banana. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's true, Miguel. Thank you. I, I hadn't seen that. No había visto eso. I hadn't seen that. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Rosa. Uh, thank you very much for your, uh, for your schedule. Okay, thank you. Okay, so any other questions for or suggestions for Rosa's group? No? Everything okay? Okay, thank you very much. Now let's let's look at the next. Uh, Rafael and Azalia. Who is showing Teacher. the schedule? Yes, Rafa? I had a problem. Yes, what is it? I work at another com computer and <laughs> in, in, in other and in, in other house. Oh, okay. It's fine. Oh my god. But if no está Azalia no está, ¿verdad? Yes, she's here. No sé si está. Tiene alguna o oh, tiene imagen usted, Azalia? No. Okay. It's fine, don't worry. Don't worry, it's okay. You can no, you can show it. No, usted. You can show it other day, don't worry. Okay? Don't worry. Okay. okay thank you. Okay, let's look at um Lourdes and Ophelia. Who has it? Lourdes? Okay. 
in let me check can you see my schedule Ah, can you put it horizontally? ¿Puedes puede poner horizontal el teléfono para que se vea un poquito mejor, por favor? Ah, ok. Wait me. Permita. No, no puedo, teacher. Yo soy desde Misteri. Pero si quieren, puedo ponérselos un poco más amplia así. ¿Lo ven mejor? ¿Can you see better? Lo verde, sorry. Uh, lo verde, solo, solo yes. pon el teléfono, dale vuelta y ponlo de forma horizontal. Ya voy. Solo gira. Ajá, yo creo que así se va a ver mejor. Gira el teléfono nada más. Solo Ay, pon no. horizontal, perdón, vertical horizontal, ¿ok? Solo pongo de forma horizontal, sí. ajá, para que se vea mejor. So we see it better. Ok. Let me... Let me see. Ok. Ah, no estás compartiendo ahorita. Ay... Compartir pantalla. Ok. Ahora sí. Ajá. Ahí. Esa pantalla. That one. Ok, much better. Ahora sí se mira. Now we can see it. Thank you. Ok. Ok, let's check. Um, then, uh, lower this schedule quickly. Ok. Okay, um, okay, thank you very much, Lourdes. I don't know if you have any questions for Lourdes' uh, schedule about vocabulary, maybe yes, about something. Only yes, one. Me? Yes. Uh, if uh, the second employee, Sakapa, is yes. work only middle time. Yes, okay, she is work at middle time. Excellent, thank you. <laughs> okay, any other question? No? Uh, one question. Yes, uh, go ahead, okay. How do you say courier in Spanish? Eh, mensajero. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much, Lourdes. Thank you for your uh, presentation. Can you stop sharing, please? Okay. Okay, thank you thank very you. much. Uh, for the well, for uh, Rosa's group and for Lourdes' group, let's give them a heart. Okay, let's give them a heart for Rosa's group and Lourdes' group, right? Thank you very much for your uh, schedules. Okay, now let's look at Joanna and Jancy's schedule. Who is, who is showing, Joanna or Jancy? Oh, it's coming. Okay. Let's check.
teacher, nosotros teníamos duda en esta porque queríamos poner que tenía la tarde libre. Entonces, es como free afternoon. Yeah, pero no, it's sé okay. si es no, it's okay. okay. It's okay. okay. It's okay. So, everyone, do you have any questions for them? Questions for them about their schedule? Questions about their schedules or the, about their schedule, sorry, or no questions? What is the meaning of warehouse? Warehouse, what is warehouse? Bodega. Yo, bodega. Almacén. El encargado de almacén. Almacén. Mm -hmm. Almacén. Yeah, el thank gerente you. del almacén. Okay, warehouse manager. Okay, thank you. Uh, what, what do you want to say when you say purchase charge? Purchase charge. In Maria's schedule. Encargado de venta. De compras. De compras. De compras. Mm -hmm. I guess we have to modify this a little bit. Maybe you can say in charge of purchases. In charge of purchases, a cargo de las compras, in charge of purchases, okay? But purchase charge, oh. uh -huh. in charge of purchases, maybe you can say. I think it sounds better. Yeah, but you can correct that later, don't worry, it's okay. okay. In charge of purchases, okay? And well, any other question from you? Classmates, any other question for them? Or no question? Payment manager, yeah. what is? Ah, what is the payment of the manager? <laughs> oh, what is payment manager? Gerente de pagos. Gerente de pagos. Encargado de pagos. Gerente de pagos. Okay. Payment manager. Jonathan. Is, Jonathan is very lucky, right? Day off. Day off. Day off. Three days off. Okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, Lourdes, do you have a question? Lourdes? No, only a comment uh, that Jonathan has a uh, three day off. Why? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why that privilege? <laughs> ah, he only gets to pay. Solo va a pagar. He only gets there to pay. Okay. Yeah. Only, there. only fifteen and thirty. Twice in a month. He works twice in a month. Only twice. Como es el que reparte la milpa. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the one who pays the money. You know the words, right? El trabajo que todos queremos. He's, he's the most important person in the company. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Lourdes and Jancy. I mean, Joanna and Jancy. Sorry. Okay. Thank you for your um, schedule. Thank you. Thanks a million. And now we are going to see Angela and Michelle, right? So, but first, let's go to reactions and let's give them um, a like. Let's give them a like, okay? Let's give Joanna and Jancy a like. Wow. And let's look at Angela and Michelle's. Oh my goodness, what a schedule. Okay, let's look at it. Okay, um, who do you think the manager of this company is? Who is the manager of this company? What do you think? Who is the boss of this company? 
What do you think, everybody? ¿Qué piensan todos? What do you think, everybody? Who is the boss of this company? Vanessa. Sorry? Vanessa. Vanessa. Why Vanessa? Why Vanessa? Because from 8 to 5. Because she works from 8 to 5. Um, yes. Um, mm, but everybody works from... No, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> the last word is Mariela. I think it's Mariela, right? Because Mariela, of Saturday. Uh -huh. Because of Saturday. Only Saturday is in the afternoon. Yes. Work. yes. Yeah, you know, buses Until have privileges. Long. That's right. Okay, buses have privileges. Okay, so do you have any question for them? Teacher. Yes. A mi envidia me da. <laughs> you feel envy. Why? Todos salen a las cinco. <laughs> yes, and on, but on Saturday, they work until 3.30. Look, on Saturday, they finish uh, late, okay? To work late. Okay, thank you, Angela and Michelle, for your uh, schedule. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's go to reactions and let's give them a heart. Let's give them a heart. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we are going to look at the last uh, work schedule, okay? Nelson and Darwin. Teacher. Is... Yes. I'm ready. Oh, perfect. Okay, you just show it after uh, Nelson and Darwin, okay? Okay, es que si no, Asalia se va a enojar conmigo, entonces. All right, thank you very much. Okay, let's look at uh, no problem, Rafael. Nelson and Darwin. And then we look at Asalias and Rafa's. Okay. So let's look at it. Two days off here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, let's look. From six to six. My goodness, and Bernardo is working like very late. Why Bernardo? Poor Bernardo. <laughs> ah. Bernardo is a good employee. Ah, Bernardo is the slave in this, in this, in this Bernard, place. Yes, Bernardo is a, is a good employee and he works from 7 to 5 p.m. Bernardo is a person who works more in the company. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's the meaning seller? <laughs> Yes, you are, this is what I call exploitation, right? Bernardo is being oppressed in this company. Darwin is more privileged. <laughs> Let me see, Darwin from eight to five. Nah, come on, Dar Darwin is kind of cool. But look at Brian oh, from six to six. Mm -hmm. Two hours to break. Yeah, Brian and Bernardo are the, the, the people with with more work in this company. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, any questions for them? Any questions for the group? No? No questions? Okay, okay, uh, okay. thank you very much, uh, Nelson and Darwin. So let's go to reactions and let's give them a like, okay? Let's give them a like. Thank you very much. And Rafa is ready to present his schedule, okay? So let's look at uh, Rafa's and Gasalia's schedule. Okay.
Okay, uh, so any questions for them? Okay, class, any questions for Rafael and, and Azalia? Why, uh, why one hour break or two hour break this Saturday? Uh, the employee, the word eight and 10 p.m. Why one word? Ah, he's correcting, I think. <laughs> yeah, they work from 8 to 12 p.m. and they have two hours break. They are erasing, Nelson. They are, they okay. are taking out there. They are removing the break, okay? So, okay. Um, any other question for them? Any why? Why, yeah? Why the security personnel become a hard of day? Why the security they, person? Uh, because security personnel don't have uh, the day off. They don't have a day off and they work 24 seven every day. So they work uh, from, no. from Monday to Sunday. So, I mean, they don't have any free time from Monday to it's Sunday, 24 hours. hours. Oh my goodness. It's late. It's late. <laughs> and different it's, groups. It's, 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 it's a zombies. It's a zombies. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's zombies. Rafa, how does this Yo work? Cambian, teacher. Ah, they rotate. Ah, okay. Sí, I see. Ajá, cada dos días, eh, sí, porque ya lo ya estamos, ya estamos a punto de mandarlos <laughs> nosotros a usted. <laughs> ya yes, son mí, eso será en el año 3000. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Rafael and, and Azalia. Thank you for your presentation. Okay. Thank you very much. Gracias. Gracias, okay. Rafael. Okay. Let's go thank to uh, let's go to reactions and let's give Rafael and Azalia a heart. Okay. Let's give them a heart. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, just before we, we go to the next activity and before I pass the attendance, okay, uh, just some suggestions, okay? In the previous speaking activity, I observed something, okay? In the previous speaking activity, I observed something, okay? And I observed somebody saying, um, well, first, I have a question for everybody. What is agree? What is agree? Salud. De acuerdo. De acuerdo. Agree, agree is estar agree. de acuerdo. Agree is estar. estar de acuerdo. En disagree. No estar de acuerdo. Estar en desacuerdo. Estar, estar en desacuerdo. Estar en desacuerdo. So listen, something important. The verb agree ya incluye el, el estar. Ok. Estar en desacuerdo. So if you want to say, for example, estoy de acuerdo, you say I agree. I agree. If you want to say estoy en desacuerdo, you need to say, I disagree. So what I'm saying is, lo que digo, lo que estoy diciendo es que no van a decir, por ejemplo, I am agree. I am agree. Because the verb agree ya tiene el significado de estar de acuerdo. Okay? Yeah. So you say, I agree or I disagree. Okay? Yeah. So this is for everybody. And, and if you want to say it in plural, you say, they, they agree or they disagree. You don't say they are agree or they are disagree. En español, si lo pensamos, que tendría sentido, but it's not correct. Okay, so in English, they agree or they disagree. You agree or you disagree. She agrees or she disagrees. Okay, yeah. And the pronunciation for organizar is organize. 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 Okay. All right, this is in general, okay? I'm not correcting anybody. I'm just, I, I just observed that, okay? When you were uh, practicing, okay? So let me pass the attendance again. Ada? Here. Adriana? Present. One moment. Ana Michelle? Present. Very good. Angela? Present, teacher. Darwin? Present, teacher. Flor? Present. Okay, Gloria. Here. Good, Joanna. Present. Great, Lourdes. Present. 
Great. Margarita. Present. Okay. Mayra. Present. Okay. Where is Mayra? Where is Mayra? I don't see her. Present, teacher. Ah, okay. I see. Now I see her. Okay, very good. Thank you. Miguel? Present, teacher. Nelson? Present. Ophelia? Here, teacher. Good. Osmin? Present, teacher. Oh. Very good. Rafael? Present. Nice. Rosa? Present. Sandra? Present. Very good. Jansi? Present. Zulma? Here. Astalia? Ingrid? Present. Present teacher. Ok. No, Sorry. Es que estoy en el celular y me cuesta, teacher. Ah, ok. No problem. Uh, Susana? Present. Ok. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, now just before we go to the next activity, uh, Sandra, are you there? Yes, uh, you have the one-on-one -on -one yes. session today, right? Ahora le toca la sesión uno a uno. You have the one-on-one -on -one session today. Yes, right? Yes. And tomorrow yes. we have uh, Jansi, okay? Very good. Uh, so then let's go to the next um, activity for uh, today. And in the next activity, we have a conversation, okay? So let me show you the conversation. The conversation is um, on page number 27, in case you have the, the manual, okay? But I will project it for you. Good. We have this conversation, okay? So I will pronounce the conversation two times, okay? So listen, please. Listen to the pronunciation of the conversation. Listen. And if you want to repeat, you can repeat, but silently, okay? With the microphone off, please. Let's do it. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Listen again, please. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Good. Now, um, I ask, uh, what is complaining? My staff is always complaining. What is that? My staff. staff siempre, siempre se queja. Ah, exactly. Okay. Mi, mi staff siempre mi se está quejando. Mi equipo. Está, okay. Mi equipo está quejándose. siempre se está quejando. Complaining is quejando. So the verb is complain. And okay. complain is quejarse. Okay. So my, my staff is always complaining. Good. Okay. Ah, now let's continue. Um, here. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. What is this? I bet it saves a lot of time. What is I bet? Um, that, that I, I bet. I bet. That I, oh my, I forgot. I bet it saves a lot of time. I bet you are happy that, today. I bet. Trataría de ahorrarme mucho tiempo. Mm, 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 mm. Somehow, Intentar. somehow. Sorry? Intentar. I bet. No. I bet. No. I bet. Apostar. Apostar. Apuesto. Yes. Sería. I bet. Yes. I bet is apuesto. Yes. I bet it yes. saves a lot of time. Okay. Okay. Apuesto Apostaría que. Apostaría mucho. A que ahorra mucho tiempo. Se, ajá, se ahorra mucho tiempo. Apuesto que se ahorra mucho tiempo. I bet it saves a lot of time okay so i bet i bet is apuesto i bet you are happy today apuesto que están felices i bet okay i bet good um now yeah yes what is on time a tiempo a tiempo and what is in time what is in time 
en tiempo. Sobre, en tiempo. En el tiempo. En tie sobre, con tiempo, no sé. Okay, antes so, del tiempo. Ah, exactly. Antes del tiempo. So, in time okay. is antes de la hora. Ok, antes de la hora. Ajá, antes de la hora, algo así. Exactly. And on time is cuál? a la hora. Ok, exactamente. Sobre el tiempo. Ajá. Yes. No, en la hora exacta. Okay. En la hora. Time ajá, is en la hora. Exact time. Ok, on the exact time. Very good. So, listen again. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay. The conversation is on page number 27. And on page number 27, okay, uh, okay, let me go here. I want to tell you something about this. On page number 27, exercise four, you need to complete some sentences, okay? I repeat, on page 27, exercise four, you need to complete some sentences, okay? So listen, we are going to work in pairs. We are going to work in pairs and first, you pronounce the conversation. First, you pronounce the conversation. And second, you complete the sentences on activity four. Se van a saltar la número tres. Van a ir al number four. Okay? Yes? Any question? Page 27. Questions? No? No, teacher. Okay, so we are going to work in pairs in this activity, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, let's go to work. Practice and complete the sentences on exercise four, page 27, okay? Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. And I use an online service so that the staff can see can see their schedule for their phone. That sounds like the most efficient efficient way. I bet. It saves a lot of time. Yes, it is. The best way to keep your staff or, uh, organized and on time. Okay. Okay. I'm Laura. I Gil Gilbert. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My organized. My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see they, their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it's, I bet it's safe a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Now, uh, now I will Gilbert. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. Okay. I'm use an online services so that the staff can see their schedule from their phone. 
That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is. The best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Efficient. Efficient. The most efficient way. Uh -huh. That sounds like the most efficient way. All right. Okay. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My organized. My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way I bet, I, I bet it save a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Yes, you please. Okay. Hello, hello, Laura. hello. Hello, hello. Organize. Hello. Organize. Organize. Yeah, for both, for ambos, okay? Organize. Yes. And okay. let me see. Yeah, organize, okay? And efficient is correct. The most efficient. Efficient. The most efficient. The most efficient. Yes, the most efficient. The most, the most efficient. efficient. Yes, yeah. thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? Así, ¿verdad? Organize. Organize, yes. Uh -huh. The schedule organize. My staff is always complaining. I use I, I, I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is uh, the best way to keep your staff organized, organized and on time. Okay, just uh, Osmi, in the last part. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. No. Donde está la coma, hacemos la pausa. Yes. It is ah, the yeah, best yeah. way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay. Yes, it is. Okay. The best way, no, ahí hacemos la pausa mal. La pausa es donde está la coma, ok? Yes, coma. Ahí, ahí hacemos la pausa. It is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time, ok? Ok, ok. Yes. It is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Perfect, ok. Only, you yeah. only need, you only say organize, ok? It's ok. It's okay. good. All right, thank you. Organize. In the most efficient. Así es, ¿verdad? Efficient. The most efficient. Efficient. The most efficient. Yeah. The most efficient. Ay, me cuesta esa palabra. Yeah, the most efficient. Thank you. The most efficient. Yeah. Okay. Over Over Hello. The Tell pronunciation. Me. The pronunciation. The is over overstaffing. Overstaffing. Yeah, over but the but the questions. Yeah. Uh -huh, the, the questions you have to answer, I mean, the, the sentences you have to complete are the sentences on activity four. Ah, okay. Yes, activity four. Mm -hmm. Activity three, we will do it in a moment, okay? So it's uh, activity uh, four. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. the, yes. the answers are on the conversation for number four, okay? For activity four. Yes. Yes.
Okay, uh, okay, let's listen to some pairs uh, sharing the pronunciation of the conversation, okay? Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, let's listen first to, um, let's see, Sulma and... Uh, Sulma, who is your pair? Okay, let's listen to Sulma and Flor first. Okay, I start Sulma. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? Organized. My staff is always, always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phone. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of, a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep the staff organized and on time. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, Flor, whose pair do you want to participate? ¿Qué pareja quieres que participe? Tell me a name, please. Um, Darwin. Okay, Darwin. Who is your pair, Darwin? Me, Nelson. Oh, you say? Tokayo in English. <laughs> How do you say? Tokayo. I, I don't know, really. Darwin. I don't know. Okay, but let me check. <laughs> let's see if I find something for that. <laughs> okay, let's listen to Darwin and okay, Nelson. Okay, I start. Laura. How do you keep the schedule organized? Organizing my staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see the schedule from their phone. That's online. The most efficient way, I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes. It is the best way to get to your staff organized as on time. Okay, thank you very much. That's excellent. Thank you. Now let's listen to the last pair. Okay, uh, Darwin, who do you want to listen to? Who do you want to listen to, Darwin? A quien quieres escuchar? Who do you want to listen to? Okay. Okay, Margarita, who is your pair? Um, Jancy. Okay, let's listen to Margarita and Jancy then. Okay. Jancy? Yes. You are star or I? I Laura. I'm Laura. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My Staff is always complaining. I use an only service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That's unlike the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay, thank you very much. Now, please, everybody, go to reactions and let's give the three pairs a wow. Let's give the three pairs a wow, okay? For the three pairs, okay, who participated, which participated, okay? Let's give them a wow, okay? Thank you very much for your participation. Okay, now. Fifteen times. 15 times, 15 veces, 15 times. Pronunciemos la palabra organize 15 veces con el micrófono apagado. Todos, por favor, everybody, ¿ok? Con el micrófono apagado, pero con la cámara encendida, ¿ok? <laughs> ok, let's start. Empecemos. Organize. 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 Organize, 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 
organize, organize. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, the idea is that you don't forget because I, when I was checking the, the pairs, when you were pronouncing, I could observe that many of you have problems pronouncing organized, okay? So I hope you don't continue with this problem, okay? So thank you very much. Now, let's go to uh, the next activity. Now listen, um, you were supposed to complete these sentences, right? So uh, give me a minute here. So you were supposed to complete this, okay? I said activity four, right? But in this moment, we're going to leave that for a moment, okay? We are going to focus on, on this, all right? We are going to focus on these two questions. Para esta no voy a escribir las respuestas, okay? Just think about the answers. Just think and then you tell me. Solo piensen y me dicen. Question number one is, how, do, how does your company organize schedules? How does your company organize schedules? You can say, for example, oh, in my company, um, we use computers to organize the schedules. Or in my company, we use Microsoft Excel. Okay, to organize the schedules. Oh, in my company, we use a poster to organize the schedules. Or in my company, uh, we have a meeting to organize the schedules. I don't know, okay? It's your decision, yeah? Question number two. In your opinion, what is most efficient, what is the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? What is to avoid? What is to avoid? Evita. Evitar. Evitar, okay? So, in your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid? ¿Cuál es la forma más eficiente de evitar? What is overstaffing? Exceso de personal. Exceso de personal en under, understaffing? Falta de personal. Falta de personal, okay? So, in your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing like too many employees or to avoid understaffing like too little employees, them, uh, muy pocos empleados. Okay, so please, I give you two minutes. In two minutes, think about one answer. Solo piensen esta vez, only think, don't write. Only think, don't write. And then you tell me, only think, okay? Don't write the answer, no escriban la respuesta. Don't write the answer, please. Only have it in your mind. Solo tenga la en mente. Have it in mind, please. This is on page 27, right? Okay. Uh, for question number two, you can say, in my opinion, right? Okay, in my opinion, you can start saying, in my opinion, um, the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing is, and then you say the, the way, okay? In my opinion, the most efficient way to avoid understaffing is, and then you say it, y luego la dicen, okay? And then you say it. For example, you can say, right? Uh, in my opinion, the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing is uh, selecting the best employees in human resources. I don't know. Understaffing. In my opinion, uh, the most efficient way to avoid under um, 
staffing is to hire a more qualified personnel, for example, okay? It's only one opinion. Are you ready? Page number 27. <clears throat> Are you ready? Yes, no? Yes, yes, a little? Are you ready? Oh my God, I hear a lot of silence here. <laughs> okay, that silence, that silence tells me you are not ready. So I'll give you one more minute, one more minute. Okay, let's start. Just answer what you have, all right? Just tell me what you have. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's start with, okay, let's see. Gloria, can you tell me a number from 1 to 20? Puede decirme un número del 1 al 20? From 1 to 20 in English, not in uh, Spanish. Night. Nah, nine. Sorry? Nine. Nine. Okay, I will count. I have the order here. Okay, I, I have you organized here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Floor. Okay, Flor, you are number nine on my screen. Okay, on my screen, you are number nine. Okay, so Flor, question number one How does your company organize schedules? In my company, they use uh, the Outlook. Outlook, ah, you use Outlook. Microsoft Outlook. Okay, very yes. good. Uh, do you have the answer for question number two? <laughs> Tienes la respuesta para la pregunta dos? Do you have the answer for question number two? Kind of? Uh, no. Maybe. No. Uh, okay, that's fine. Okay, tell me another number, Florin. Tell um, me another number from one to ten. The uno al diez, from one to ten. Uh, five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Jancy. Okay, you are number five on my screen, right? Okay, Jancy, how does your company organize schedules? In my company, they have the established schedule. Ah, okay. They have uh, established schedules. Established schedules. Okay, interesting. Very good. Uh, so in your in your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing or, or understaffing? Uh, in my opinion, is evaluate the activities beyond the people in the office. Eva or evaluate the, the activities? De todas las personas. The of office. all the people, of all the people. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's, it's right, okay, it's right. Okay, so it's to evaluate all the activities or their duties, right, okay? Las tareas, okay, to evaluate their duties. Okay, interesting, good opinion. Thank you very much, Jansi. Luego le damos los corazoncitos a, los, a las opiniones, okay? We give the hearts later. Okay, uh, Jansi, can you tell me a number from one to 10? A number from one to 10, Jansi? Eight. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ophelia. Okay. Okay, Ophelia. Question number one. How does your company organize the schedules? Uh, a company organized is uh, difficult to organize a rest on the own or is a risk because. Ah, you organize the schedules on, sorry? Uh, on 
um, difficult is orange uh, with because. Mm, I don't get it. Okay, is there a program? Usan algún programa? Is there a program? Para, para hacerlos? To make the schedule? Uh, no. Eh, usa. Usa. Excel. Excel. Ah, Excel, Excel. Ah, you use Excel, all right? Then you, your Excel. answer is we use Excel. We use Excel program. Excel. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Thank you, Ofelia. Tien, eh, do you have the answer for question number two? Tiene la respuesta para la pregunta dos? No, teacher. No, okay, it's okay, don't worry. Okay, Ofelia, tell me a number from 1 to 23. Número del 1 al 23, from 1 to 23. Eh, eh, 11. 11, all right. 11, teacher. 11, okay, let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, Rosa, okay. Okay, Rosa. Um, this is the last opinion for this, okay, Rosa? A boy, a boy teacher, only girls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rosa is going to select a boy no. after her opinion, okay? Oh. So, Rosa, how does your company organize schedules? Oh my God, uh, using the program, uh, the program, the system, and then, uh, my boss uh, convert to Excel. Ah, you have a program. Mm -hmm. You have a program. Yes. And then yes, you convert the, it to Excel. Yes, yes. Oh, mm -hmm. interesting. Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. I, in your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? Uh, in my opinion, maybe um, preparing a balancing uh, a schedule because sometimes two or three peoples in in case in the case in, in my in my in my company two or three technicians going to the same place is not necessary because suddenly an emergency happened nobody is is supporting Avail or available. Mm -hmm. Available. Yes, it's available. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Maybe, yeah. maybe in, in, in a balance, balancing. Yeah, a to balance. keep a balance. To keep a yes. balance. Keep a balance. Yes. Keep a balance. Yes. That's right. I, I mean, yes. it's basically like you. You need to have, like in general, right? In general, you need to have a good distribution of activities, yes. right, for everybody. Yes. yes, that's right. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Rosa, and thank you, Ophelia, okay. and thank you. Who else? Flor, and thank you, and thank you, quien más fue? Ofelia, right? Yancy. And Jancy, all right? Mm -hmm. And Rosa wants to listen to a voice, she's saying, okay, who do, who do, <laughs> yes. who do, you, who do you want sure. to listen to? Um, and <laughs> oh my God, Darwin. Darwin, all right. Yes. Uh, somebody said teacher, alguien dijo teacher? Teacher. <laughs> yes. Yes, Asalia, tell me. Uh, a second. Sorry? Do you want to participate? Yes. Ah, okay. Second. Okay, very good. Uh, let's listen to Darwin and then we listen to Afelia, okay? I mean, to Asalia, oh my goodness, to Asalia, sorry. Okay, um, okay teacher, Darwin. Le voy a tener una penitencia, teacher. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, let's okay. listen to Darwin. Okay, Darwin. Um, question number one. How does your company organize schedules? In my company use the system Agile. System is a create for the company. Okay. The company. Ah, it's, it's, uh, it's a proper program from the company. Okay. Yes. The program is only for the company. Okay, very good. So in your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? In my opinion, is the employee review the, your outlook because in the outlook, the company uh, check the schedules, the days off, um, vacation, for example. Okay. So they see the necessary personnel on the schedule. Yes. 
Okay, very good. Okay, thank you very much, Darwin. And now let's listen to Asalia who wants to participate. Okay, Asalia, question number one, how does your company organize the schedules? The most efficient way, um, online service. Mm, online service, okay, so you do it online. Okay, interesting. Yes. So, uh, and yes. do you have, and question number two, in your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? In my opinion, opinion is goal be to evaluate their work and how they perform in the day and if they give the positive or expected result. Results, okay, but that's right. So it's by evaluating employees and their activities, all right? Good, I like it. Thank you, Asalia. Thank you very much. Okay, everyone, go to reactions and let's give participants a heart, okay? Let's give participants a heart. <laughs> okay, thank you for your participations. Thank you very much. Now, I will, I will display my screen here. And look, so you were supposed, uh, here you were supposed to complete uh, these sentences with information from the conversation, right? So how, what did you put in sentence number one? Yes, it should. What did you, the what most, did you, ah, the most, the most, the most efficient. efficient. Uh, the most efficient, all right. Okay. I will do my best. The most efficient. Any sentence number two? The best. It is, way. It is the best, best way. The best uh, way. The best. It way. is the best way uh, to keep your stuff organized. Okay. Organized and on time. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. So look, the most efficient. Hay otra forma más eficiente? Or is or is the most efficient? According to the sentence. Hay otra forma más eficiente de acuerdo al contexto o esa es la más eficiente? That sounds like the most efficient way. It's the best. It's the best. It's the best, right? It says the most efficient, la más eficiente. No hay otra. The most efficient. Good. Now, yes. second part. It is the best way to keep your staff organized. Es la mejor manera de mantener organizado al personal. Okay? Hay otra, hay otra manera que sea mejor que esta? No. No, right? It says it is the best. The best. All right? Now pay attention to this and remember it, please. Okay? And now let's go to the topic uh, or the grammar we have for today. I remember... Um, okay. Okay, let me share. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I remember that in a previous class, um, well, in a class before, we studied the comparative, right? We studied how to compare. And we say that when you compare, you use more OER or ER, okay? And as you can see, when you compare, you can use, uh, for example, you can use these, okay? My, my room is darker than your house, for example. You are comparing, right? Estamos comparando. Give me a moment, please. Yeah. My son was pulling something there. Que mi hijo iba llevaba llevaba algo arrastrado allá ahorita. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Um. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now listen. I said that when we compare, we use er. Usamos la er. Okay. We use er when we compare. So darker, newer, happier, busier. Ah, and we also use more. También podemos usar more. ¿Recuerdan para qué adjetivos usábamos, usábamos el more cuando estábamos estudiando el comparativo? Do you remember? Más. Dos o más sílabas. Dos o más sílabas, right? Dos o más sílabas. So you say more beautiful. More nervous. Ah, Bernardo, pero happy tiene dos sílabas. 
Sí, pero recuerden que terminaba en G, ¿verdad? Y le poníamos sí. IER, de acuerdo a la regla. So, happier, más feliz. So, if we go again, so, for example, uh, for the first worst, is peor. No podemos decir más peor, ¿verdad? It's impossible, all right? So, you say peor. Um, best is mejor. You don't say más mejor either, ¿ok? Um, aquí hay un pequeño error. Este, este best no, no sería acá, sino que aquí sería better. Ahí hay un pequeño errorcito, ¿ok? Better. ¿Ok? Then we have darker, más oscuro. Newer, más nuevo. Happier, más feliz. Busier, más ocupado. More beautiful, más hermoso, más hermosa. More nervous, más nervioso, más nerviosa, ¿ok? Now listen, but this is, in general, this is to compare. Esto es para comparar. This is to compare. So, ahí solo estoy haciendo un repaso, ¿ok? But the most important for today's class is this. Lo más importante para la clase de hoy es esto. This is not to compare. Eso no es para comparar. Esto es para, y pongan atención a esto. Is to highlight. Es para resaltar una cualidad sobre las demás cosas. O una cualidad mía sobre los demás. It's like the best. Lo mejor de lo mejor. The best of all, all right? Or the worst. The best or the worst, okay? Lo mejor o lo peor. The best or, or, or the worst. Now listen. Bad. Worst. So bad is malo. O mal. But worst is peor. Good is bueno. Best is mejor. Pero aquí... Mejor. Pero aquí le vamos a poner de. The worst, el peor. The best, el mejor. Ok, so esta, esta TH es importante aquí. The, the worst, the best. The darkest, el más oscuro. The newest, el más nuevo. The happiest, el más feliz. The busiest, el más ocupado o la más ocupada. Ok, I am speaking in, in, uh, in a male way. All right, but you can say la más ocupada too. Ok. Now listen, vamos otra vez al lío. Cuando tiene dos o más sílabas, un adjetivo le vamos a poner most. The most beautiful, la más hermosa o el más hermoso. Talking about something, right? Hablando de algo. The most nervous, el más nervioso o la más nerviosa. The most. Así que para los adjetivos de, tres o más, de dos o más sílabas usamos most. No le ponemos est. Si se fijan, a los demás les ponemos EST, ¿verdad? EST, look. ¿Ya se, ya se fijaron? Pero a los de dos más sílabas les ponemos most. Yes. Now, taking it to a context. Llevándolo a un contexto real. Taking it to a real context. So I can say, for example, I think we have some examples in the, in the, in the book. So let me show you some examples on the book. So for example, here. We have this little chart and we have some examples here. Okay? So now check the examples. Check the examples, okay? Uh, so in the examples we have, Jack is the fastest server. The fastest, the fastest server. ¿Cuál es el adjetivo original ahí? What is the original adjective? The original adjective. Fast, fast, fast. 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 Ajá, pero como le voy a poner de, I put that. Y la EST, ¿verdad? The fastest Fast. server. What is the second example? That was the saddest moment in the chief. The... Y el origen. The, the, the saddest. The saddest moment in the chief, okay? And the third example. The busiest. The busiest hour is during lunch. La hora más ocupada es durante el almuerzo. And the most... Interesting customers come to our restaurant. The most interesting, okay? The most interesting. ¿Por qué digo the most? Why do I say the most? Long syllables, no? Ah, yes. Two, two or more ah. syllables. Dos o más sílabas, digo most. The most, the most interesting, okay? Very good. And we have other examples. The best schedules, en vez de decir the better, I say the best. The worst, los peores. I usually receive the worst tips. 
usualmente recibo los peores chips, ¿ok? ¿Ya? Yeah. So, good y bad, como siempre, son irregulares, por eso cambian. They change. Any question? No, teacher. No questions? No. No? Are you sure? No questions? So, concluding. Concluyendo, concluding. So, um, this is to highlight. This is to highlight. Esto es para resaltar una cualidad. This is to highlight qualities. All right? Important things. We use EST. Usamos CST. O podemos usar most. Dependiendo del adjetivo. ¿Ok? Y usamos D. We use D. All right? Yeah? For example, the most beautiful. The most easy. Yeah. Okay, for example, the most beautiful, the most interesting, the most nervous, the most common, the most but handsome, the most appropriate, the most blah blah blah. Cuando usamos el EST. Ah, when do we use the EST? El EST lo usamos para adjetivos cortos. The darkest, the biggest, the smallest. The, the happiest, the busiest. Okay? Any question? Esto se llama superlative. Superlative degree. Okay? Any question? No, teacher. What is important in the superlative degree? Tell me, what is important? Or what is necessary? In this topic, what is necessary in this topic? The use of EST. The use of EST in the adjective, darkest, biggest. What else? ¿Qué más? Or the most. Or most, or most, right? Most. Or most, okay? Most beautiful, most handsome, most. And then you continue. What else? ¿Qué más? What else is important? What I can say to more beautiful. No, porque ya estamos usando comparativo y aquí no estamos hablando de comparar, estamos hablando de ah, resaltar okay. una cualidad sobre otra, sobre otra cosa ah, okay. o sobre algo. The, okay? uh -huh. the, the most, the most. Uh -huh. So what else is important here? So most, la EST, the EST, falta una cosa que es importante. We have one more important thing that is mandatory, que debe ir, that is mandatory. De, 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 de exactly. The most beautiful, the happiest, the longest, the biggest, the smallest, the most interesting, the most challenging, the most. Okay, very good. And for good, for good, you say the best. Para good, no vamos a decir the goodest. No, you say the best. Good, the best. For bad, you don't say the baddest. Vamos a decir the worst. The worst. Okay. Any question? For great is greatest. Yes. Greatest. Uh -huh, the greatest. greatest. For great greatest. is greatest. Uh -huh. Tal vez para far, far, que significa lejos, que es irregular también, decimos the farthest. Okay? okay. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, Teacher. Yes, Miguel? Eh, déjame entenderle en la parte. Cuando estamos ocupando las oraciones y haciendo una comparación, vamos a ocupar el comparativo. Exactly. No podemos ocupar el superlativo, aunque querramos hacer la oración comparando otra cosa. No. No. Vaya, es que hay una, lo voy a decir en español, hay una diferencia entre el comparativo y el superlativo. En el comparativo usamos er y usamos more y usamos el dan. Por ejemplo, yo decía, Rosa is a shorter than Miguel. Rosa es más bajita que Miguel. Rosa is shorter than Miguel. I am comparing, estoy comparando. Okay? Pero en este caso, en este tema, no estoy comparando. Estoy resaltando una cualidad de algo o alguien sobre algo o alguien. Okay? Yeah, that's the difference. For example, if I am, um, this is um, what? This is the best book. Este es el mejor libro. ¿Hay otro libro mejor para mí? This is the best book. No, ¿verdad? Porque estoy diciendo que ese es el mejor. The best. Okay? Or imagine I say... She is the most beautiful. 
She is the most beautiful. Ella es la más bella. ¿Hay alguien más bonita para mí? No, no she is. I am saying she is the most beautiful. Por eso estoy resaltando una cualidad, ¿ok? ¿Ya? Con la única opción. Exactly, exactly. No, solo se le quedó eso. So, any other question? No? No, teacher. Okay, if you have no questions, vamos a trabajar en equipo por un momento, okay? So we have a little, we have like four or five minutes. Now listen, uh, together in groups, you are going to complete exercise number six on page number 28, okay? Select the best answer. Vamos a seleccionar la mejor respuesta. For example, the most important, the more important thing. What is correct? The most important, right? The more important is not correct, okay? So, solo seleccionan la respuesta correcta, okay? Pueden hacerlo en su folleto, en su cuaderno, okay? So, you have three minutes for this. In groups. Vamos a trabajar en equipos, okay? We are going to work in groups, okay? Let's go quickly. Three minutes for this activity. Page 28, page 28, exercise six. Ah, de su brazo era. Yeah. <laughs> ok. Vaya. Veamos. Number one. Number one. Ah, voy a compartir si gustan okay. las oraciones. ¿Me confirman que ya puedan verlas? Yes. Yes. La número uno dice the most important the more important thing is to find a substitute for sick employees. Creo que sería the most important. The most, yes. Vaya, la segunda, don't use the best. The goodness to a regular schedule as a reward. Reward. Debería de ser esta, ¿no? Debería ser esta, ¿no? The guest. The good. The good. The good. Uh -huh. Quiero ver si puedo. Así, sí. Do this. Bye. Um, okay. okay, hello. Remember that for good, I said it's irregular. For good, I said you say the best. And for bad, you say the worst. Es lo que le dije, right? It's what I said, okay? Ah. It's in, porque son adjetivos irregulares. They are irregular adjectives, okay? 
So you don't say the baddest or the goodest. That's impossible. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Okay. Entonces sería solo este. use. Ajá, porque la palabra de good no existe. Es que, es que eh, vaya, es que good es un adjetivo irregular. Y cuando lo y cuando lo cuando lo conjugo cambia su forma al superlativo y al comparativo, ¿ok? Porque en el comparativo digo better, better, no digo gooder, ¿ok? Y en el superlativo no digo goodest, digo best, ¿ok? Best, best, best. Okay. Entonces sería the best. Don't use the best. Eso sería. Sí. Don't use. Okay. Vale, la Jane número tres. Is Jane is the fastest of fastest waitress. I was the long. Teacher. Hello there. We have a question. Tell me. <laughs> and the the sentence uh, number five. Okay, let me see. Yeah, tell me. Uh, the the correct is the prettiest, right? Number five. Yes. Yeah, the it's prettiest. The prettiest. It's correct. Because it's the prettiest. The rule is when when the bear um, finish in Y. Eliminate Y and add I, E, S, and T. Exactly. It's correct. Okay. Thank you. Ya se les olvidó la regla al culo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> en, el compar en, en el comparativo vimos la regla, que se le quitábamos la Y y le poníamos mm -hmm. I, E, R. Aquí la diferencia mm -hmm. es que le ponemos I, S, T. Pero es la misma mm. regla, es the same rule, ¿ok? Es que teníamos dudas porque como es de dos sílabas y por lo de la regla, entonces, pero como nos acordamos que termina en Y y, mm. y es donde ahí aplica eso. Yeah, it's correct. Okay. Okay. You finished? Thank you. Yes. Finished. Oh, perfect. That's very good. Nice let's, let's go then. <laughs> let's go then. It's late. <laughs> yes. <laughs> let's go to the main station. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's wait for your classmates, okay? How old is your son, Adriana? What, teacher? How old is your son? How old is your, your baby? Uh, uh, he, he, he's three oh, years three. old. Oh, really? Uh -huh. oh, my. my first son, uh, eight, eight mm -hmm. years old. When is his and birthday? When is his birthday? And eight. Yeah. Uh, Would you read the No. Na, na, 19. 19 oh. December. December 19. Ah, uh, uh, December. He's older than my he's older than my son. My son's birthday is on Feb is in February. <laughs> and he's going to be 4. He va a tener 4 and he's going to be 4. Okay, teacher. Así tiene lo mismo entonces. Okay, okay everyone. Um so I know it's late. Okay, and I don't want to take too much of your time. So let's check very quickly and then we go. All right? Let's check very quickly and then we go. All right, Miguel. Can you turn number two, please, Miguel? Okay, teacher. Uh, number okay. two. Yes, number two is don't use the best. The best schedules as a reward, okay? So it's the best. Excellent. Okay. ¿Por, qué no pone, ¿Por qué no podemos decir the goodest? Porque dice a comparativo. No, it's no, 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 no. Good. 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 no se le puede. Good. Ajá, no se le puede. Eh, eh, 
a good cambia su forma, ok, cuando lo ponemos uh -huh. en superlativos. Sí, no, un... uh -huh, yes. Yes. You don't say good or good, or it's impossible. So you say the best, ok? Good. Thank you, Miguel. Uh, Osmin, number three. Jane is? Number three, Jane is the fastest. The fastest, excellent. The fastest, very good. Gloria, number four, delivery orders. Gloria. Uh, uh... Are the most popular. Oh, good. Delivery orders are the most popular right now, these days. Angela. Angela ha estado bien callada ahora. Number five, Angela. No, me ha preguntado que si me he dormido. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> and this restaurant has the, the most pretty decorations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the most the pretty? pretty. No, the pretty. The prettiest. The prettiest. Ya ve que me estoy durmiendo, teacher. The prettiest. Ajá. Why the prettiest? ¿Por qué no le ponemos the most? Y yo le dije que de más de dos sílabas se les ponía most. ¿Por qué no le ponemos most a este? Termina en Y. Termina en Y. Termina en Y. Es la misma regla que iba para el comparativo, ¿verdad? Que le quitamos la Y y le poníamos IR. A ese le ponemos IST. ¿Ok? So you say the prettiest. Y teníamos los ejemplos de BCS también, ok, es the same. And the last one, the last example, let's listen to, um, let me see, Ada, number six, the kitchen. The kitchen manager works the longest. The longest, excellent, the longest shift. Ok, everybody, no le voy a pasar asistencia porque ya los tengo acá todos con asistencia, ok, so don't worry, ok. So it's fine. Good night, teacher. Okay, everybody. <laughs> Solo Sandra se queda. Okay, thank you very much for connecting Bye. today. Bye. See you Good tomorrow. night. See you. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye, Bye. teacher. Good, Bye. Good, Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. <laughs> Eso que tenía la cámara apagada, se me durmieron. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. Good night. Good night. Bendiciones. Good night. God bless you. Bendiciones. Okay, Sandra, I'm sorry, but you are going to stay late today. Lo van a hacer 20 minutos, okay? Qué broma. It's kidding. I'm kidding. Tell me. So tell me, Sandra, do you have any questions? And um, use uh, will it be? Oh, okay. Uh, would it be? Uh, por ejemplo, sí. Cuando el, el would it be better too? Or wouldn't it be better? En esa parte. En esa, ajá, sí. Ajá, cuando decíamos wouldn't it be better to do this, for example? Yeah. No tenía claro cuando iba a ir it, it would o cuando iba a will it be. Mm -hmm. Ok, muy bien. ¿En qué página estaba? ¿Recuerda? ¿En qué page was that? No, 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 no tengo la página. Ya vamos a revisar ahorita. Ya vamos a revisar. We're gonna check. Okay, Aquí no. está. Aquí está. I have it here. Aquí lo tengo. I have it here. Ok. Vaya, Sandra. Vaya, Sandra. Ok, let's see. Please. Vaya, what is the question? ¿Cuál era la pregunta? ¿Cuándo usaba? Porque a veces va, will it be, pero a veces también el is va uh, antes, before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, yeah, we don't have a big difference. Ajá, vaya, aquí tengo, it would be better, sería mejor. It would be better is like, sería mejor. And... Uh -huh. Cuando digo, wouldn't it be better, es como que no sería mejor. Ok, no sería mejor. But it's the same purpose in the end. Ok, solo que aquí digo directamente la sugerencia. It would be better to check email ah. in the morning, for example. It would be o better cuando... to check email in the morning. Y cuando voy acá, el would, es más bien como una alternativa. It's like an alternative, ok? Ah, no sería mejor hacer esto, una alternativa, ¿ok? It's an alternative. It's not a, it's not a direct suggestion. Es una, no es una sugerencia directa. Ok, entonces esto es, eh, it would, va antes cuando, este, digo, no sería mejor. 
Ajá, exact, exactamente. En español sería, vaya, en, en este would be better sería mejor. Y el wouldn't it be Ajá. better no sería mejor. No sería mejor verificar correo en la mañana. Es una, suger, es una alternativa, no es una sugerencia, ¿ok? So you say, wouldn't okay. it be better to check email in the morning? So it's an alternative. Es una alternativa. Ah, ok. Yeah. Esa es la dif diferencia. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's the difference, exactly. Iba en negativo, ¿verdad? Iba en negativo, entonces. Así es, and it's in negative. Ok. Yeah. Eso sería como sugerencia. Mm -hmm. Sí, pero cuando estoy haciendo la, 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 la tarea, ahí es donde no... no sí, pero es que... No, es que, no pero es que la... Sí, pero es que ahí habían dos errores. There, there were two mistakes. Ajá. Uh -huh. De algunas cosas que no pegaban, que había dos, dos oraciones que estaban, que estaban configuradas de una, de una forma incorrecta, creo. Porque había que copiar para que uh -huh. dieran ¿no? y pegar. Ajá, el bull, el uh -huh. bull. Ajá. Uh -huh. El bull, si no, no se lo agarraba. Yes, it's y true. ahí los espacios que habían de más. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, pero hoy sí ya me queda más o menos claro cuándo va it. Ok, excelente. Uh -huh. So, do you have any sí. other question? Esta, esta que ha dado ahorita, eh, yo la dejé mala porque me confundí en, en la última, la tercera oración, creo que era, Tiche. E iba. Perdí la página. Donde, donde la última, el último ejercicio que hemos estado haciendo ahorita. Que había que agregarle, que terminaba en Y y, y, y um, no, el, el, ajá, de la página, la última. Uh -huh. sí, yo lo perdí. ¿En cuál? Aquí está. Ajá, esta, ajá, era, esta me confundí. Eh, Prieri, Prieri es. Ah, esta dejamos period. con Adriana nosotros. Sí, sí, el de... Quieres? Vaya, porque aquí llevaba la... la palabra mos, por eso la elegí yo. Sí, porque eran dos sílabas, tiene razón. Vaya, pero lo que le explicaba la vez Ajá. pasada es que cuando usamos el pretty, es un adjetivo que termina en y. ¿Ok? Y si termina en y uh -huh. y hay una consonante antes, dijimos que aquí lo que aplicaba era quitar la y y ponerle lo que sigue, que sería pretty. ¿Ok? Ah, pues yo la confundí con el ING aquí. El... Ajá, no, no, es con Y. Por ejemplo, tenemos la palabra busy también, que es ocupado. Busy, dos sílabas. Pero como, pero como termina en Y, le vamos a quitar la Y y le vamos a poner EST. Busy es más ocupado. Ah, okay. más ocupado. No necesita el auxiliar MOS. No. O, o el no, no, no. Vaya, ahora ve, veamos otro. Imagínense que tenemos el, ver, el adjetivo common. Common. Tiene dos sílabas. Common. common. Ah, aquí sí aplica porque no termina en Y. Aquí se voy a decir the most common porque no termina en letra Y. Como dijimos que los de dos más sílabas se les pone the most. Ajá, the most y no cambia la palabra. Exactamente. So, aquí le ponemos the most porque no termina en Y, aunque tenga dos sílabas. La única diferencia va a ser cuando termine en Y. ¿Ok? Precedido por una consulta. La convierto en, en latina y le agrego ST. Exactamente, en el superlativo. En el superlativo. Yes. Uh -huh. Cuando sea, ¿cómo voy a diferenciar cuando es el uso de most y more en este caso? Most dijimos que es superlativo y es para resaltar una cualidad. Y el more es para comparar dos cosas o dos personas o ah, dos okay. animales. Uh -huh. Cuando digo, por Pero ejemplo. Cuando me da el sentido de la oración. Ajá, por ejemplo, si yo digo, my car is more beautiful uh, than other cars. Mi carro es más hermoso que otros carros. Estoy comparando, my car is more beautiful than other cars. Estoy comparando mi carro con otros carros. Pero si yo digo, my car is the most beautiful, ya estoy diciendo que es el más bonito, que no hay otro como el mío. Is the most beautiful. Ah, ya, okay. es, ya es diferente. Ah, uh -huh. ah ok. Ya. Yeah. Sí, ya, ya me queda claro. Ok, perfecto. Uh -huh. Difference. Ok, very good. Excelente. Gracias, Tich. Ok, thank you for connecting, Sandra. Thank you for staying. Good night. Thank you.
Gracias, teacher. Good night, teacher. Okay, good dreams. Okay, bye, take care.